From the home screen, we can navigate the Buzz interface by clicking on the menu, sometimes called the hamburger icon in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see that there's a number of options available to me. First, if I click the home button, it's going to bring me here. You'll see that you'll have a list of courses that you're currently enrolled in. You'll have an activity stream of things that are happening in those courses so that you can be updated on those activities very easily. You'll see a list of to-do items regarding those courses and you can easily color code which items belong to which course. When you choose an activity, it will give you a choice of courses to enter into. When you enter into that course, you'll have your assignments on the top, you'll have items on how to navigate through the course, you'll also be able to go to the last item you were working on as well as what's up next and information about the course in your stream. You could also have gotten to the same location instead of going through the menu activities by simply clicking on the icon at the front. That also will take you to the same location. The performance menu gives you details about the course you're currently in and you can switch between courses simply by clicking on the necessary icons and it will update your performance menu. More information will be given in a separate video concerning the options available here. But for now, suffice it to say, any detail regarding your performance with inside the course is available from the performance menu. You can also use the communication menu. This is where any announcements will be posted as well as your ability to send and receive emails with inside the course. Finally, you'll have the calendar tab. This will give you details that are available in a day, week, month, or all view. You can also choose to turn on all events inside, which will then give you to-do items across all the courses you're enrolled in. So you have that option as well. You also have the ability to go full screen this works well when you are on a smaller computer or device and you need to use as much screen space as possible for the content of the course. You have next and previous buttons that allow you to simply move between the material without pulling out the menu. But It's very easy to pull out the menu and slide it back and forth. So you have all of your menus that allow you to go home, choose a course, look at the performance detail about the course, communicate within the course, and show do soon activities on the calendar, as well as full screen and navigating back and forth.